GOC previous IIDJE main and advanced questions we are discussing. This is 2018 question. Very interesting question it is. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6. Which bond is going to cleave first? See, here, lone pair of electrons in resonance. So, this cannot be protonated easily. So, forget about first two and second third options. This can be protonated easily. After that, Cl minus is to attack. If I am taking HCl, I will take any acid. It can attack much better here than here because it is steric. If it want to attack here, this bond will cleave very fast. So, 5 and 6. Fifth oxygen atom, sixth carbon atom. That means numbers when they have mentioned. Fifth, fifth number notation oxygen and sixth. Coming to the question number 17. Two compounds, one and two are eluted by column chromatography. Adds option, one is greater than two. Which one of the following is correct statement? Two moves faster and has higher RF value than one. Just to go through with the chromatography basics. Which of the following statements is not true about the partition chromatography? Same thing, stationary phase is a finely divided solid adsorbent is not true. The increasing order of the boiling points for the following compounds is this is alcohol intermolecular hydrogen bonding and this will be having great chlorine dipole forces will be there this is ether just ether again dipole forces only and this will be just propane so least so he is asking boiling points order least will be given for third third is least here and here and first should be highest first is highest here so first, then second, then ether, then finally alkanes. For which of the following molecules significant mu is not equal to zero? Means 2014. See, this is C triple bond n type. This is three triple bond n. So the electronegativity will be working. Sorry, dipole moment will be working like this. So mu is equal to zero, exactly opposite. It will be working like this. Mu is equal to zero, exactly opposite. And here the oxygen is having two lone pairs. This oxygen is also having two lone pairs. So they cannot cancel each other in these two cases. So because of that, these two cases mu is not equal to zero. So three and four. A solution of one chloro, one phenyl ethane is called racemizes slowly in the presence of a small amount of acid. Racemizes means there must be carbocation because only carbocation only will give you the racemic mixture option it can give a chance to attack from front side or rear side so it must be carbocation simple the order of stability of the following carbocations is this is benzyl good looks so good and this is ally this is just alkyl it is least this is best this is better than uh, what is a second and less than third so you have to start from three one two okay this is benzyl carbocation and that is allyl carbocation given four compounds are given here what the question question is electrophilic substitution reactions for electrophilic substitution reactions which is better it is better okay followed by this is better because this is plus i group this is no group this is minus i group and this is worst because this is minus m group for electrophilic aromatic substitution we need electron supporting groups electron donating groups electron releasing groups or plus m groups so this is the answer so it should be b a c d b a c d b a c d b a c d In nucleophilic substitution reaction, order of halogen halogens in incoming attack is like this. Correct? Outgoing is also the same. Okay, now attacking I minus is better. Outgoing is also I minus better because R I bond will be long bond. Long bond means bond strength will be less and it can break easily and it is a good leaving group. So I minus Br minus Cl minus. 
In CSPCH2 is the bond that undergoes heterolytic cleavage most readily is. Okay. See here, OH and CC. CC bond is with the same electronegativity, so it won't break. It is also not readily breaking. It is also not readily breaking. This is better option because oxygen is more electronegative, hydrogen is less electronegative. This is more possible. 1988, very old questions. The CLC, CL angle in 1122 tetrachloroethene. C double bond C, all chlorines. So all are sp2 hybridized. So angles must be 120 degrees. Okay. And what is asking? Angulin, tetrachloroethane and tetrachloromethane. Tetrachloroethane is this one, 120 degrees. Tetrachloromethane, if they are asking, that is like this. So here all sp3 hybridized. So that is 109 degrees, 28 minutes or 110.5 degrees. The bond between carbon atom 1 and 2 in compound involves what hybrid alters? This is triple bond, so sp. This is double bond, so sp2. Easy question, Saina. If you have written the exam in 1987, what are the following compounds which will have a zero dipole moment? Okay. Trans 1 2 dichloroethene will definitely have zero dipole moment because they are working, the both dipole moments are working exactly in opposite direction. It is mu is equals to zero. The compound 1 2 butadiene has 1 2 butadiene means CH2 double bond C. HCH3. It is sp2. It is sp. This is sp2 and this is sp3. So, molecule in which the distance between the two adjacent carbon atoms is largest is CC single bond distance in ethene is 1.54 angstrom. Ethene is C double bond C distance 1.34 angstrom. Ethane is C triple bond C 1.20 angstrom. Benzene is 1.39 angstrom because of resonance. 1.42, 1.39. Okay now. 1.34 and 1.42 is in graphite, 1.39 in benzene. So highest is rest question we'll discuss later. Thank you so much. Signing off your Lakshma Reddy sir.